that one i went to mention this this is some really good news courtesy of ra really 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 good news it says here london listening bar jumbi granted a 2 a.m license the decision was made last monday by southwark council um as you guys know london my home city is not the greatest when it comes to you know permitting certain clubs and venues for having late licenses there's something really strange about councils and local boroughs and flipping what you call it sorry local residents and stuff in terms of nightlife establishments people just don't like the antisocial behavior attached with it the noise whatever it may be the flipping you know the rubbish what who knows what the deal is but there's always been a really fraught relationship between clubs and the community around them and people that live there it just doesn't really usually work out which means most of our little club scenes or the best clubs don't last that long um you have to kind of enjoy them while they're around and then you know you come back a couple of years later and then suddenly they're not allowed to open after 10 p.m which basically kills their business or they lose their license and stuff and then suddenly the club isn't functioning as it once were and it then eventually shuts down and turns into an all-white photo studio or some shit same old nonsense so it's good to hear that this place has got a license and this is a even good one because this is a listening bar as well um um, that i have always wanted to actually check out since it opened but um let's read the article regardless it says here south london hi-fi bar and restaurant jumbi has been granted a permanent 2 a.m license by southwark council the effective immediately the decision was handed down in person at southwark council at london bridge last monday june 12th the venue's owners bradley zero philip and nathaniel williams set either side of the lawyer matthew buck kc thanks to the thousands of you who have petitioned the council and our legal team staff and councils of Suffolk for recognizing what we do and what it brings up beloved peckham these two extra hours may seem like may not seem like much but they make all the difference safeguarding our future in the area and allowing us freedom to experiment push things forward and give more back jumbi will host its first extended event this friday on the 14th with music by ben gormi and laura shelley browse the venue's instagram for up and coming listings um founded last summer peckham venue is centered around roger ellis and Tanoi sound system and a single turntable with a focus on deeps listening a selection of a mixing there's also a large library of records from Bradley Zero's personal collection which guest DJs are invited to use so it's a really good kind of platform listening bar we've had a few of those here in, in London some of them have worked some of them haven't I'm actually surprised that listening bars don't work by and large here in London because we have more of a restaurant cocktail bar culture here and um, people don't tend to kind of permit clubs are open late but there's no shortage of fucking restaurants and cocktail bars so why not kind of have you know listening bars which is kind of an extension of those sort of things because most listening bars have like you know little nibbles you can order and whatnot as you're seated so i've always been surprised why listening bars don't work in that regard because most trendy restaurants you go to they're always playing some super loud fucking crappy nts set through the fucking speakers why not actually have somebody there selecting and actually putting on some fucking amazing crazy records and actually having a little bit of range and mixing things up and not just being fucking techno on a weekend at 7 p.m maybe some classical music some jazz here and there to kind of get things you know in the right mood and whatnot or just be a good place to kind of pre-game before you go to another club and that's the only bad thing about london spaces like really and truly this jumbi space should be a place where you can go to to pre-game before you head over to fucking phonox or something but sometimes i'd imagine places like fun especially in london they won't even let you in after maybe 2 a.m or maybe after three so you go there you have a good time you're chatting away outside having a cigarette with the owners or maybe some people that you've met in there you go over to flipping phonics array for a couple of more hours and you go there and say no entry after a certain time it's like what so it kind of limits your time available but those extra two hours will definitely help them be able to be open at 2 a.m um definitely makes things a little bit more flexible and obviously would attract a different type of clientele because i'm definitely going to check it out now they're being open at two flipping um 2 a.m for sure but the whole premise behind it as it being a listening bar type of thing that you can kind of sit down in and kind of chill um with a great sound system and a great vibe is something that i'm definitely eager to go and check out for sure from the stuff that i've seen the pictures i've seen available it looks absolutely crazy they've got is that kerry chandler was he playing there recently rotted okay cool oh no i guess this was maybe somewhere else but i guess they're posting other things on there but it looks absolutely great i really want to check this venue out and see what the vibe is saying there jumbi over there and flipping peckham see what the flipping vibe is like some deep listening some chilling out the good thing i like about south similar to how we have it in east it's a whole different world in itself 
it's not you know they kind of exist in their own little bubble over there they do their own little thing they got their own little clubs um record stores and whatnot it's nothing to do with us over here in east whatsoever um i'm not really too sure what the, what they would deem to be their version of like a fold maybe venue mot i'm not too sure but they've got loads of venues that are open kind of late um the only bad thing about south is like it's all really spread out um, so if you're in one area of South, it's kind of hard to get to the other bit, um, especially if you're cycling because the fucking hills over there are brutal. I remember going there once on a fixie and nearly dying <laughs> from the hills I had to go up and down in. But the space itself looks absolutely beautiful. Per courtesy of pictures I ever see here available. They've even got like a little outside terrace bit now. Um, some good options of food here. It looks like it's Caribbean food available there um mix maybe a caribbean mix maybe mexico i'm not too sure but there's plantain i see some little taco y rapi type of things going on there but yeah the food looks absolutely banging the space looks really great loads of records nice warm type of feel great cocktails nice lounge chairs to sit in and get lost in the vibe and whatnot so definitely a place that i'm definitely going eager to see what the vibe is and to kind of check it out like i said with the you know with that flipping license extension, it gives people like me an excuse to go and check it out and see what the vibe is saying. So definitely going to see that. So congratulations to Jumbi. More power to Jumbi. More power to Jumbi.